It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and today's show is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile, and it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot. For a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code IDIOT to save 10% off your first purchase. Now, let's start the show. Uh, Schultz is here, of course. What's up? Wax is here. What's up? Um, we are recording this. Should we tell them that we're recording this on a Monday? Yeah, let's tell Yeah, them. we're recording this on a Monday because, you know, Andrew Schultz is back on the road, baby. The road, baby. You know, you know what I mean? What's the name of the store? The Infamous Tour. The Infamous Tour. Infamous Tour. Yes. You know, uh, paying, paying homage to Mob Deep. Yes, of course. Are you? Or just you? Not at all. But you should own it. <laughs> you should, you should own it. You're from New York. New York might be back, baby. That's exactly why I did it. If King's Disease 2 <laughs> gets the number one album after the verses we saw last yeah. week uh -huh. and the, the 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 acquisitions the Knicks did. New York is back, huh? New York might be back uh -huh. a little New bit, York bro. New York is back. Nah, New Knicks York. fucked y'all up. Say what? The Knicks? Yeah. Nah, the Knicks, on, the Knicks gonna be good. Bro. The Knicks what might be all right. Say. Knicks yeah. gonna be all right. Yeah. Bro, I got so gassed up, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. <sighs> I get this email, right? Mm -hmm. From from MSG, Madison Square Garden. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So I get this email and the guy's like, he goes, "Hey, what's up? I work for the ticketing department at Madison Square Garden. I just want to contact you, say what's up, and introduce myself. See if there's anything I can help you out over here. Give me a call back or a message back, whatever. I forget to message him back. Good job. What? I get another email. Hey, just Good following job. up. I'm like, oh, they want me courtside. <laughs> <laughs> they can't wait to have me court. I tell Al, I go, Al, Al, we made it, bro. We going court. I already imagined me and Al sitting courtside. I told my girl about it. You would bring I Alex over your dad? Well, I got to bring my dad first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? But then right. I'm going to bring Al. Yeah. I definitely did not think about my girl. She was like, what about me? I was like, yeah. You, you wouldn't start. even appreciate it. Yeah, 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 yeah What you want for you? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You're looking at other girls' outfits <laughs> and shit. You're yeah. court side here. Pay attention. <laughs> so I'm super gassed. I'm like, yo, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm. That's it. It's done. I'm done. Right? And I email back and I'm like, yeah, man, talk to me. What's up? And he goes, um... Uh, I just wanted to, you know, let you know if you ever wanted to buy any tickets to the Knicks or something like that. Like, I'm the one that you should go through. <laughs> I go, I go, he goes, no you, got, you got a person at the garden here. If you ever need to get anything, I got you. Shit. And I was tight. And I hit him back. I was like, man, I thought you were putting me on a jumbotron. What the fuck is this about? You should have you should have pulled the racism card and you should have said, yo, you know what, man? It's not enough white comedians sitting courtside at the Knicks. Thank no you. More. That's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> you like, yo, Tracy Morgan, Pete Davidson is a little miscellaneous. He's you know, in the face. He's a little He's miscellaneous in the face. You know what I mean? You need a pure white New Yorker yeah. comic sitting court. White people live in New York too. White people <laughs> pop in as well. You know, you know what I mean? Me, like, you listen, it's a me. different type of locks. It's bagels and locks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a funny sketch. What the lot? Yo, y'all should call yourselves that. You the walk locks? and get another one to call yourselves the locks. <laughs> but you talking about the, what is the locks anyway? When you talk about bagels and locks, it's the pink, right? it's the salmon. It's the yeah. salmon. Yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, pink yeah. stuff. Yeah. Anyway, that shit killed me, bro. I was so happy, man. And then he just destroyed me. Oh, well, listen. At least he knows your name. And I hit him back because I told him I was like, I was like, my I share season tickets to the Knicks, yeah. right? Like mm -hmm. uh, me and two of my boys, we share season tickets, and. Um, so I hit him. I was like, I already got season tickets. Thinking he's going to hit me with like, yo, I got you on an upgrade. We're going to put you whatever. He's like, all right, well, if you ever need tickets to the oh. Rangers or something like that. <laughs> Damn. I know, right? It's fucked up. Knicks tickets going to be hard to get now, though, man. I mean, because they, they they had a great season last year. Yeah. And they've added Kimball Walker. Uh, the, what's the center's name? Robinson. Mitchell Robinson's coming back healthy. Mm. It's going to be kind of tough, bro. It will be fun enough. We'll get into the playoffs, but we ain't going to do shit. You don't think so? No. You don't think Damian Lillard's coming still? I don't think Damian I, I'm holding out hope for Damian Lillard, bro. So what are we going to do? Dame Lillard, Derrick Rose, and Kemba Walker in the backcourt? Like, it's too much. Eh. We need some shooters, man. You got them. You don't Ooh. think so? Ooh. You don't think D-Rose is a good spot-up shooter still? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. This is an asshole, bro. You don't tell him. This guy is a real asshole. D-Rose can ball, though. He definitely ball. No, I love D-Rose. D-Rose yeah, can ball. Respect to D-Rose, man. Definitely For real. RJ Barrett, you know, you never know how he's going to develop. 
that's the story. I'm actually it. a Knicks fan. I'm not like if I, I don't have an NBA team per se. I always like players. Yeah. But I've always historically liked the Knicks for some reason. Why do you think? I don't know. Even when they used to go up against Jordan, I'm like, I never. It's not like I was rooting for them to beat the Bulls, but I was like, I wouldn't mind seeing that. And mm. I remember when the year, I remember the year that uh, Jordan retired and the Knicks won and made it to the finals and Patrick Ewing threw his arms up like he finally did something. It's like, nah, it's not, not yet. the same, bro. Not yeah, baby. It's not yeah. the same. Yeah, it's not can. the same. You didn't beat those Bulls. You yeah. beat the Bulls. Yeah, definitely. But you didn't beat the Bull yeah, Bulls. Yeah, you you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then they went on to lose in the finals against the Spurs, I think it was that year. <sighs> And I always liked the fact Sprewell choked out that coach. I always thought that was dope. But he didn't do that on the Knicks. He, he didn't do he that on the Knicks? He went to the Knicks afterwards. And he did when yeah. he was on Golden State when the, oh. when, when the coach said, P.J. Carlissimo. Carlissimo. He said, put some mustard on it. On yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> put some yeah, mustard yeah, on it. Yeah, he choked yeah. the shit out of that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, wild, yeah, yeah. bro. I was like, always like, in the nature, nature immortalized that line when he said, choke it because like I'm Sprewell. Mm. On band from TV. Oh, that was phenomenal. Mm. That was phenomenal. And then it was like Latrell just fit in with the Knicks because the he Knicks did. was just like gangster. Gangster. Yeah, you know what I mean? Hard nose, blue collar basketball, foul your ass. You're not coming All to paint for free. I think that's what it's a lot of people Back related to it in the same way they relate to like music that you know represents who they want to be. Yeah. And that's how the Knicks play ball. Yeah, yeah. That it, it re like, yeah, 90s Knicks represented like 90s hip hop. Exactly. It was tough. hardcore, it was gutter. It was Charles tough. Oakley. Yeah. Fuck you up. Man. Elbows are coming in a lane. Anthony Mason. Yeah. Y'all met Anthony Mason once. He was built like that robot. God yeah. bless the dead. Like he <laughs> was just like <laughs> it's true. He's literally yeah. like a planet. <laughs> like, you know yeah. how you meet people in there, like he's just like a circumference. I can't describe yeah. it. Like he just takes up space for real. Yeah, R.I.P. though. Yeah. Yes. I can imagine him like in his younger days when he was like healthy and muscular. Like, yeah. how you get around that? And agile too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He would bring the ball up. Like he was our point guard. He was like yeah. a six, seven, six, nine or something like that point guard. Beast. Yeah. Yeah. As man. you can tell, we're just trying to kill time because it's Monday and we, um, <laughs> we don't, <laughs> we don't, we don't really have a lot to discuss here. I mean, Yo, we do, let's but it's talk still about early we, in the week. We can tell. We can talk about what we know. People are going to be talking about. For, talk to me. I mean, just anything vaccine. People are going to still be yapping about. People still talking about the goddamn yeah. vaccine. Uh, That's all yeah. they talk about, bro. It's like every issue that we had last election is just being turned into vaccine talk. Yeah. Or like Corona talk. Like, like you know how last election it was like you know we got to stop immigration, right? Now it's like. These immigrants are coming in unvaccinated. Yeah. They're coming in, bringing in Corona. It's like, are, is it that obvious? <laughs> you're just going to you're gonna flip every single argument into the same two uh, talking points? The wildest thing about the whole vaccine talk is that literally I read something from the CDC this morning and it was saying how um, they really talk out both sides of their mouth because there was one paragraph that talked about how the vaccines um, limit your chance of getting really sick mm -hmm. and limit your chance of death, right? But in the very next paragraph, it says, but you, still you can get still get really yeah. sick you still and you die. can still die. <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, what? When then, so it says our suggestions are this. Wear a mask, social distance, <sighs> wash your hands. And I'm like, where have I heard all of this before? In the beginning. <laughs> yeah. The rules never changed. Yeah. yeah we just run it back. Huh? And it's fine. It's this you got, got the vaccine for no reason. I'm not saying they got it for no reason, but I'm just like, eh? <laughs> Seem like we all in the same boat regardless. Literally. The to me. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what? That's, that's why, it's that's peace why of mind for me. Down. Like, I know now that I got it, even if I do get it again, I know I'm going to be able to fight it better. So I like that. You don't know. Maybe. That. We you don't know. know. I don't think so we know, far, bro. So far, we know. So far, we know. I don't yeah, know, bro. Know. CDC said they still investigate. Now, the other thing the article nah, said this see morning. see old people out all the time now that they're vaccinated. They're not Because they like that. YOLO. Huh? They refuse to live their last days in isolation. Well, they should have done Word that before. Up. They were. Nah, they weren't. No, nah, they about weren't. They all through Florida chilling. You don't see them. Nah, nah, Florida's different. Florida COVID don't count. Florida COVID. <laughs> <laughs> you got Florida COVID, that shit don't count, bro. You're COVID don't hit the same shit, down yeah. there, bro. It don't it's, hit the same. I'm not yeah. playing with COVID, though. I'm not, nah, I don't I'm want it. Trouble. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing the same things I've been doing. I'm wearing my mask. I'm washing my hands. I'm not taking no chances. Mm. You know what I mean? And I'm not, listen, once I said, once again, I'm not against getting vaccinated, but I just, I would feel much more comfortable when, when it's FDA approved. It, don't, you don't yeah, feel comfortable so. that they gave it to whites? Not yet. Like, doesn't that make you feel comfortable that they gave it to white rich people? No, they, why? Like, they jabbed them first. No, no, why? Well, they went for it chicken, first because chicken is uh, like going um, really low right now, so they kill anybody off a of chicken. Mm. Yeah, 
Wait, what? explain they that kill theory. Everybody. Like the chicken is like all time low right now. It's all fucked up. So they kill anybody off. They need oh. a certain amount of people just to die. So like the food source could be able to be. Oh, so you're saying America, since since there's a chicken shortage, there's white they're chicken. Killing, they start killing off humans, and they're so killing more white people first. Yeah, Please believe, first. Wax. If there was a chicken <laughs> shortage, there's another group of people they'd be taking out first. Okay, I don't have to say everybody loves it chicken. Is. That's why it's a shortage. If, if there was only one group of people in America eating that much chicken, yeah, come on, man. <laughs> Yo, son, like, son, like, on, son. Man. Wax started a chicken Shut farm, up. bro. He hey, loves chicken, chicken, dog. <laughs> he loves chicken so much, he started farming them the in his backyard. Oh, he loves doing God. two things, shooting people and chickens. And, chickens. and now he's got a fucking... What is it called? Paintball. Paintball. Paint <laughs> in his backyard. He's going to combine the two in a minute. He's going to start growing his own chicken. And shoot him. But you got to come kill him yourself with the yeah. paintball. Yep. The paintball him knocks up. him down. Then you come cut the head off. And they got the herbies. All of that other good stuff. But no, yeah, I don't agree with Wax's theory at all. But I thought about it. You did put some thought into that one. <laughs> you definitely put some thought into that one. Oh, I saw this too. For a couple of seconds. This one too, man. What a fucking idiot. This woman is suing McDonald's. After she claimed the 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 burger, the ad the advertisement for McDonald's compelled her to break Lent and go buy a cheeseburger. Wow, that is literally the whole point of that. That's the whole. Point. I need to see the ad though. She said it was the banner. So it's the banner when you walk by and you see the cheeseburger and the nuggets on the banner. Yeah. She said the banner made her want some cheeseburger and nuggets. That's the whole. Point nah, of the is, banner. This is. Y'all better move that before we get. Yeah, 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 yeah. That bacon, egg, and cheese shit is on fire. Nah, right that shit trash. I don't know. Nah. Why. <laughs> bacon, egg, and cheese is trash, bro. Nah, you're crazy. Not trash. You're crazy. That's, that, that's why? Because it doesn't have fucking shrimp, shrimp and grits in it. No, nah, it's just trash. Like, nah, why dude. would you want that? These guys, guys are crazy. Sausage. Nah, bacon, egg, and cheese trash. It's the best breakfast food ever. No, no, no. What are you having for breakfast? I grew up on biscuits, so I grew up on like chicken, chicken biscuits. Y'all not gonna tell me that when y'all down south and y'all get a chicken biscuit, that shit don't. A little bit. Chicken biscuit don't count. It's not fair. Why not? Because it's just flour. It's chicken. No, it's biscuit. It's chicken. It's the egg. If you want, get a, a little melted mm. cheese on it. Come on now. So you're having a bacon, egg, and cheese just on a biscuit. No, it's no. chicken. Chicken with bro. biscuit. And yes, biscuit is way with better jelly. than that fucking roll shit, man. Yeah, man, way better. All right, biscuit is is a better. <laughs> Come tasting. on, bro. Yeah. Come on, Listen, man. I want to push back on this. It's a better tasting piece of bread. Mm. It is a better tasting yes. piece of bread. But yes. a bagel. Holds the sandwich together way better. You're not gonna have a sandwich ah, on a biscuit. You're crazy yeah, to think nah, otherwise. I hear what you're saying. Great. It crumbles, my it falls hands. apart, yeah, right away. It's soggy. First That's bite. why you keep it in the wrapper, bro. Yeah, yeah. I never kept it in the wrapper. Keep it in the wrapper. I remember when I first moved. Are we to talking New York. about fast food right now? We're talking about fast yeah, food. Yeah, Chick Fil A. No, 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 no. Stop. stop Chick Fil A, Bojangles for breakfast. And don't listen. Don't go. Yes. Yes. Now nah. you're talking about what? Nah. Hold up. Y'all never been to Chick Fil A for breakfast? Nah. Oh, bro, y'all don't know what y'all missing And out. you got to put jelly on Are it, Are we man. missing out? <laughs> yes, <laughs> bro. Are we, though? Bro, like, you are missing though? out. Are we, though? Yes, yes, no, for real. You're missing out. Big time. <laughs> You're missing out. <laughs> Yo, and don't forget the jelly, man. I'm Ooh, telling you. Put the jelly the on Chick -fil it. Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit? With an egg on it and jelly? <laughs> Come on, bro. I want better for you, show. <laughs> you was in Charlotte all weekend and you, and you didn't eat. Oh, what did you eat for breakfast in Charlotte? I'm off the bread, yo. I'm off the bread. I'm off the bread. I went to Haymaker. you about to get married. Oh, okay. You we, went to, we did go to Haymaker. What is Haymaker? Had a biscuit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we didn't have no <laughs> See what I'm saying? Listen, them same ingredients that's on this shit, put it on a biscuit and watch how your life changes. The only thing that makes this trash is the roll. Nah, stop it. Bagels nah, are trash. That's, I'll be honest with you, good. that's anti-Semitism, bro. <laughs> man, shut up. <laughs> Charlamagne the God trashes the Jewish people on Brilliant Idiots Podcast as he comes for bagels saying biscuits are better. <laughs> biscuits are better. Nah, nah, nah. Bagel, son, is fire. Got a hole in the middle. Fuck it. <laughs> yo, so, yo, that shit is like a stale donut, yeah, but bro. you can't fuck no biscuit, bro. Like, if it's just you alone, <laughs> nah, you, you can't. Mean, like, it's not you alone. Like, you think about breakfast, you're hungry, but you need to get a nut off before breakfast or whatever. Like, you never. <laughs> Yeah. I can't believe y'all never had a chicken biscuit. Bro. I can't believe you never fucked bagels. No, <laughs> yo, real talk. You're crazy for that, bro. I definitely You're did crazy. that to a donut, though. Yeah, I, bet, I, bet, I bet if it was donut? a pumpernickel bagel, you would fuck it. I bet then. I don't know the but, difference. What's the difference? They're black, the bagel. They're black. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, so, Wait, why? What? Why? Good. Yo, I'm saying. <laughs> them white Jewish bagels, you're not trying to fuck. But if it's a black know. bagel, son. This conversation is making me uncomfortable. Yo, okay, so, what else? Oh my God! Oh, what 
Oh, the Arkansas ad. Uh, did we talk about that last week? Which one? The Arkansas ad. Oh, this is funny. OJ Simpson. Oh, Wild Boy. Afraid to wild go boy. back to LA because he doesn't want to run into the killer of Nicole Brown and Ron. I'd be afraid too. Thoughts. Amazing. I'd be afraid too. If if I didn't do it, and look I'd in the be mirror. afraid. He probably looking at the same mirror in LA. Yeah. You gotta get away from this guy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether OJ did it or not. Yeah, you do. No, I really don't. I don't. Uh, I wasn't there. Of course we don't know, but just to know, I'd be upset if I found out he really didn't do it. Why? No, that's a good know. point. Did I say that? But I don't know. I think it's just Why no one that <laughs> OJ. I don't know. I might be retarded for this, for this, but it's like all these years, it's like we all know OJ did it. No, we don't. I yeah, understand do. that, but everybody say that. No. He got found not guilty. Okay, okay, what, what does that mean? Oh, 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 now you. you trust the justice system. No, I don't know. Listen. All I'm simply saying is I don't know. Respect. And, and when, when a guy know. talks like that, Amazing. He makes you question whether or not he really did it. Like, <laughs> yeah. well, maybe this motherfucker really didn't do it. Bro. Why, is, why is anybody this walking is... around LA? <laughs> There's a murder out there. Like, around. Why is anybody just hanging out in the park? There's a violent killer. And shit. he's volunteering this information. Yeah. That's the part that makes you step back and be like, bro, did OJ do it? Every year, OJ says something that yes. at least makes you question did I do, what, what, whether what, or not he book, really did it. What was the book called? What nah. was the book called? If, if I did, I did it. it. <laughs> nah, but the, the, the cover of the book was the greatest cover ever. The if oh, is this small amazing. in the corner. Yeah. And the rest of the titles in huge font. <laughs> I, I did, did it. it. No, huge. Man. Yes, I swear to God, in my life. The F is this small. Bro, this that's is what so I'm saying. Fucking like, funny. What that, are you doing? That's he's a wild point. boy. He's a he's, he's a really wild <laughs> Definition boy. Definition of wild boy. He's either a really wild boy. He's uh he's one of the biggest narcissists we've ever seen in our lives. Both uh, he's are true. Innocent. Both are true. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sitting. I don't listen. I'm not. Would you have him on a podcast? Because nah. Al wants us to bring him on Flagrant. And I'm like, I don't know, man. Nah, it ain't worth it. Wow. For what? For what, Al? For him to say crazy, funny yeah, shit like that? Just, we want to find out the true story. Yeah, he's going to tell you. Yeah, After right 40 here. fucking years, he's going to come on Flagrant and, and books too. And everything. finally tell everybody, <laughs> I did it. He looks yeah, out of him. By the way, if you get him to do that, amazing. Yeah, yeah amazing. amazing. But it's not happening. Come on. I think guys. I can get him to admit it, yo. I think I can hypothetically. We just go hypothetical. But that's what that's what now the he, book was. Uh, if, Say what? The book was hypothetical. What's the if for? The book was if I did it. And he sat down and did an interview with Judith Regan. All of that was hypothetical. But what if I also get another hypothetical? <laughs> What's the other one? No, nah, I just get him to be like, listen. Let's I wore the gloves, but yeah, like, my, I didn't. The didn't funniest thing on. OJ could admit to right now is his list of candidates who actually possibly did it. I think that <laughs> that is the <laughs> that is the most fire thing it, OJ yo. could do. Who, who do you think easy? Did it? Because he said something like this in this conversation. He was like, he thinks he has a good idea. Who <laughs> This is so funny. Stop. <laughs> I need to know. I need to know who OJ thinks did it, bro. He said. So funny. Wait, he said, I have a good idea. Yeah. Didn't he say something like that in this interview? I thought I heard that. He, was... uh, he is a legend for saying Yo, that. Yo, would you feel bad you felt like he really, really didn't do it? Is there no, no percentage that you think he didn't do it? Is there a percentage? I mean, I don't know. I wasn't only thing I could say in situations like that, I wasn't there. Respect. Based off everything that I the evidence that was out there, eh, he's it's, it's just a good chance. There's a lot of things that we aren't there for, but we're like, nah, it just probably happened. Yeah. Probably happened. Yeah, I can say that. Yeah, I can say probably that. Yeah, it probably happened. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I can't yeah. say without a shadow of a doubt he did it. I can never fix my mouth to say, yeah, he did that. Shit. Yeah, because he got because he got off. Yeah, same thing. I don't want to say OJ did it, but if I find out he didn't do it, like totally was innocent. Oh. He was in Jamaica smoking weed and he definitely that happened. wasn't there doing that. We that we know. He was clearly somewhere in the vicinity. We saw yeah, the whole chase <laughs> with the Bronco. You know what I mean? I know. He was but clearly if in if the I country. find out something like that, like he was just not there, he smashed another woman or something like that, I'd be kind of like, damn, man. Bro, all these years. I had this knowing that OJ did it and he got off. It's literally just shit like this that makes me question it. That's all. Not saying he's innocent. I don't know. It's just when he says shit like this, I'm like, God damn. OJ did it. Did OJ do it? Did OJ do it? <laughs> <laughs> could you be that cocky if you if you actually got away with some shit like that? Mm -hmm. Could you be that cocky? Nope. I don't feel like I don't think you get tried twice, right? I don't think you get tried twice. Yeah, no twice. double jeopardy. So he could say if he wants. But yeah, I think he killed one of them. Mm. You think he had two people there? No, I think someone else has died later. What do you mean? Huh? You act like he I'm was there. I'm still formulating this, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, MacGyver. I don't know, bro. 
I really, I just, like, was I, you there, bro? I really don't know. I just, no, I think he did it, bro. I mean, yeah, he did it. Of course he did it. He did it. Like, why are we even acting like he didn't? Ah, because it's more funny to act as if he didn't. Okay, no, yeah, I'm not I, saying he I didn't. Agree. It's, st- I'm, it's literally stuff like that just makes me question it just a little bit. That's I mean, all. it's the right thing to say. If no, you it's want- not. Don't say nothing. If you got away with some shit like that, there's yeah, nothing the to discuss. The why Word talk up. about it? Well, they can't try him again. Even if he comes out they and is like, yo, I did that shit, they can't try they him legally. To me, that's him like um, projecting. Because he probably thinks everybody always looks at him as OJ the murderer. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. since everybody looks at him like that, he thinks everybody's talking like that. So let me go ahead and address we don't even the know elephant how he in get, the room. We don't know how he get treated in the street when people see him. We don't know that. Well, he's a murderer, so they're not going to do that <laughs> much shit to him. No, I'm just saying, how do, you, right? like, like, do people go on the other side of the street? Do they like say murderer when he's walking? Yes. They, call, they call you a murderer if you don't wear a mask. You don't think they're going to call him a murderer for murdering somebody? <laughs> of course they're going to call you a murderer, right? And I'm just saying, I think that he probably like, you know what? Everybody think I did it anyway. I know the way they look at me when I walk in the room. So uh, fuck it. If are, I did. I'm what keep about fucking Amanda Knox? He's trolling people, right? Amanda Ooh. Knox. Which yeah. one is Amanda Knox? Uh, she spent, she killed like, their kids or something? No, no. no she she's like, like in Italy or something like yeah, that. Like yeah. her roommate died. Yeah. I'm not familiar with that story. So she was living with four girls in Italy. Uh, she's an American citizen. Like, she leaves the house. Apparently, one of the roommates died, but she was sleeping with some dude. And then um, they claim her to kill her and the dude because she was secretly in love with the girl. And she spent four years in prison. But she claims innocence to this day. And now she's back here. She probably did that shit, yo. I don't even know nothing about nah, that. She she probably probably did that was a huge yeah. story. I'm surprised you didn't hear that. Uh-uh. Nah, nah, Because nah, lesbians love different, bro. Like, lesbian love. That is some serious love, bro. Man, that is two girls. That is they, it's because think about Casey that. Like, man. think about how much women love, and then times two. <laughs> so they that is that is love, bro. That's that love. is that's love. That's love. That's, imagine, <laughs> son. Imagine Dominican <laughs> lesbian son. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 yeah, he said it serious. Like, shit, don't tell him yeah. about that shit. That's wild. Oh, Dominicans love hard. Oh Son, my Dominicans god, Dominicans love what hard, bro. Oof. Are you, you kidding be... me? Try oh, to break oh, up with no, it. I forgot I mean, you I broke mean, a Dominican's heart. Stop. Yo, oh, yo, yo. I, yo, I, I didn't even want to do that. I can't play that. shows today. I didn't want to do that, bro. You broke a Dominican's heart, bro. That's dangerous. No, he did. He broke a Dominican's heart. A Dominican's heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Son, you're fucked. She came to the radio station wilding and everything. I heard about it secondhand. Oh my god. I heard about. I heard about it from like the vendors in the street. We must have got nothing to talk about today. Like the person. I just saw Ali Oop in there. Go <laughs> bang it! <laughs> bang it! I mean, we can't talk about things we don't have no experience with. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you're going to say Dominicans love hard, we need examples, Wax. Oh, yeah. I just, she came know. to the studio, what? Toes to done, nails station, done, bro. everything done. <laughs> <laughs> Wax is a cold piece, bro. <laughs> He's so stupid. Wax broke, yo, Wax broke a Dominican's heart for a Puerto Rican. Oh, no! He's trying to cause civil oh, war. Oh, no! This guy this is, is wild. No. Oh, wow. Oh boy, man. You're, You're trying about, to tear you Dykeman boy. down, bro. This motherfucker got the whole uptown going crazy. Holy smoke. This came in and shot up La Marina That's for no goddamn reason. Bro. <laughs> How you know about the marina? I've been there. Really? I went to La Marina once. Oh, shit. I went out there one time. I thought that stopped before you got even up to New York. Nah, that was like some four years ago. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah nah, probably longer. A little bit more. Probably like six, seven years that's ago. That's funny, but yeah, dude, no, that's dangerous. What you're doing right now can cause a whole platano. Oh, no, that was years. He did it already. America. What? Wax <laughs> 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 is like, we can't have chicken. Y'all can't have platanos. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so crazy. Listen, can I say man. that? Can I say that? This, can I say that? Can I, all right, we, we can't here? say that black people like chicken, but we can say Spanish people like platanos, right? It's true, though. Yeah. It is true. There was a whole... Mongo. What did you just say? What? what? Mongoos? No, mongo. Oh, mongo. What is that? It's a Dominican breakfast. Oh, they had, they, they had little nicknames. Yeah. I'm, Wax would hug her and be like, oh, my platinum. And she'd be like, oh, my collard greens. <laughs> no, she <laughs> was. You guys say so <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. You know, Carl, listen. <laughs> <laughs> he just shoot in the way. Hey, Carla, we love you, Carla. Carla, we love you. Big Carla, okay? Yo, we Even love you. Carla don't bullshit. We right. love you yeah. hard. I'm Dominican glad. love. This, we got Dominican <laughs> That's love. Right, we got Dominican love for you, Carla. <laughs> Baby, I'm not laughing. That's not funny. <laughs> Why is there an issue between Puerto Ricans and Dominicans? It's um, not that much. There of an is issue, an bro. issue. No, it's not. Yes, it, it is. It is an issue. It's an it issue. is an issue. 
It's and Alex is. is Puerto Rican, by the way. Yeah. Alex is Puerto Rican. But what, what, who, who hate each other the most? The um, Dominicans and uh, Haitians. Oh, that's right, because they share so, the, the same islands. Island. Ha- uh, Haitians always tell me that they don't understand that issue because Dominicans are just like lighter skinned. They literally Haitians, they, they say there's like a gate one, between them. Well, there's dark skinned yeah. Dominicans too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. That's what I've always heard Haitians tell me that like the Dominicans are just simply lighter skinned Haitians or whatever. I don't freaking know. Yeah. I'm just throwing out what I've heard. Why is that? I know a lot of the dark know. skinned Dominicans. I know a lot of dark Dominicans though. Anyway, so so this girl that would come to the to the radio station <laughs> and when you guys were fighting, what exactly happened? Let me get back to this. <laughs> you might as well tell the story. Call yeah, you might as well tell it. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she knows about it. Just you know, I apologize. You know I'm saying I apologized already. What did you do wrong? Um, I just wasn't faithful. You know what I'm saying? I just wax I, being wax. I was being wax. Wax is scared of commitment. Is it fair to say that you um, would never be faithful to a Dominican and only a Puerto Rican? It, it wasn't. It, I, I, you know what? How long do you think it was like that? You know, I, I said apologize, and I'm sorry. The, to the Dominican, yo, 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 you gotta the, stop the doing that. You gotta stop I just breaking. gave him the easiest so alley. Trying to bail you out. I gave you the easiest bail, and you flopped yes. that bail. I, 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 I you even said I want to stay in jail. I'm trying to stay away from I, this. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Is it fair to say that you wouldn't be faithful to a Dominican and only to a Puerto Rican?" And the answer yes. to that is y- yes. Okay, okay. Exactly. You said I don't think it's that. I think <laughs> <laughs> the, the biggest way. problem in these relationships is wax. No, interesting. Wax got to grow up. Listen, I used to Listen, be yeah. bad. Right now, I'm so good. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going through certain things to see why I used to run away from these things. You know what I'm going saying? Going to therapy. Relation- yeah, I'm going oh, that's to therapy. Yeah, it's beautiful, Yes, great. it's like certain things that, you know, before I just be like, I'm out. I'm going here. I'm going there, whatever. I got to sit there and listen. I got to talk. We got to work things that's out. Right. It's not about just, yeah. you know. You can't just up and run. run. away. You can't no, run away bro, from this shit. No, bro. You can't shit. do that. Like, I you told you that. Then you like really got to do this. It's like. And if you want to stay with this for the rest of your life, you have to build this. Mm. Why does the therapist got to tell him things I told him already? Because he doesn't listen because to you. Because did you see what he just now did? Yeah. I, don't, I know I, you got yeah. some bullshit. I'm telling you the truth, with. though. Nah, nah, I told him the exact same thing. You mixing the truth with a lot of bullshit. No, I don't. Yeah, that's yeah, what he's saying. Dude, dude, he's hugging yeah. I literally, that's, that's right. Holding crystals and that's shit. That's right. That's me, baby. No. No. He'll say something that's like really brilliant in between a bunch of other dumb shit. All that stuff works for me. I like <laughs> the crystals. I like <laughs> the hugging the trees. I like grounding in the in the grass with no shoes All on. All right, but bro, you you would make a sandwich. You put spaghetti and apples on it, too. Like, you don't need the extra stuff. Don't act like a spaghetti on white bread sandwich. I don't know about the apples. It is with syrup. I'm Sorry. With syrup, what it's did amazing. You, just say? you never had a spaghetti sandwich? What? With syrup on oh, it? Y'all tripping, bro. Oh my god, y'all ain't live for real. Love. A spaghetti sandwich? You never took spaghetti. Why you're on court side, put it on I a piece that. of white bread and then put another piece of white bread on top? Guys, <laughs> we are in <laughs> the first world. No. With syrup? Yo, bug. I don't know about no syrup. Now. You gotta put syrup on that sandwich. No, no, no. It's stop, always stop, syrup stop, bread. Stop, stop, stop. Bread, Toasted syrup bread, bread. Bread and spaghetti. They're both bread. You don't need to white put them bread. Together. No white yeah. bread. You this take is, that spaghetti, put that shit put on that on white bread, there. and put another piece of white oh, bread on top smoke of some it. Is this a southern wax. thing? Yeah, you huh? hey. is this a southern thing? I don't know. No. No. Al, you know what this is? This is a poverty thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all never had spaghetti thing. sandwiches? No, we yeah, didn't. Grow right. up. Guys. We had spaghetti or sandwiches. Yeah. No. Anyway, bringing them together. So you never ate white bread with spaghetti? Maybe to dip the sauce or something. Nah, bro. Even if you even if you got one piece of white bread and you take the spaghetti and then fold it. Oh my god! Put the syrup on it. Why you keep talking about syrup? syrup? Ain't no what syrup, bro. Going, no. Yo, y'all never had spaghetti and syrup? You just trying to change the subject from the Dominican. Well, I don't even know why you got back, boy, back up. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about food over here. <laughs> we talking about food over here. <laughs> but no, it's lit. all Wax is just afraid of commitment. And I'm glad he's dealing with that. Because it's, it's nobody's yeah. fault but his. All right, I'm I have better. a question. I'm getting much yes. better. How long did your wife breastfeed for? This is a somewhat uh, topical story, but um, curious. Probably up until like ten months, eleven months. Maybe. I don't. I have no clue how long. You I don't know. I, and I'm by the way, I'm just about fourteen wilding. months. I don't know. Supposed to be about fourteen months. months. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think once the baby starts walking, I don't. But but even still, even if she's not on the breast, yeah, you pumping. You know uh-huh. what I mean? You putting the breast milk. About fourteen in the months. You start yeah. weaning off. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because there's like a Coco, Ice T's wife was saying that she still breastfeeds their kid at five years old. It's kind yeah. of big. Is it? 
five? I don't know. I mean, I mean, you, I, I've I mean heard that before. COVID, right, this COVID thing going on right now, that's really the best thing for him is like medicine all day, every day. Oh, that's so right, because you're getting all yes. these uh, yeah, the antibodies. Uh, yeah, so they stopped them from getting sick right now. So that's the, right now in this time, that's the greatest thing for the baby. Yo, that's so crazy. I just saw, uh, I saw. Uh, can uh, I run it back? Like, could I breastfeed? <laughs> listen, <laughs> you know what? That ass, I listen, mean that. Like, could I get I milk out of my I'm taking junk? a lot of breast milk and when I'm tasting, I'm over here like, it's all right. I think I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, that's probably why I'm not getting COVID. Bro, that's yeah, coquito coming out. Them. <laughs> 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 that's not breast milk, bro. Yes, what? it is. <laughs> coquito. <laughs> coquito. <laughs> Yeah, so I, that's why I think I want the reasons why I'm not getting sick. For real, I got a lot of breast milk in me, man. Uh -huh. I saw, um, I saw Ernest Ernestine salute to Ernestine Morrison. I saw Ernestine. She was actually talking about this because I think she got COVID. She breastfeeds though. Yeah, I saw her on Instagram saying how the baby, the doctor told her to keep breastfeeding because it gives the baby the antibodies. Mm -hmm. That's I what, didn't know that. I, I was like, wow. And it turns a different color too, so you would see when she was sick and when she's not sick. Really? Yes. And you would tell to give more for the baby and stuff. I'm, I'll be over there sipping it. You know really? Just yeah. because? Why though? No, I'm just saying whenever, like, or whatever, I'm I'm just... Does the breast, I need breast milk breast change milk. depending on the mood? Uh, no, if she's sick or not. But what if she's, like, angry? Is it more like a four local? You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> but no, it is, it is. No, no, no. It does depend on what she's drinking, though. Because if you like, if, if, if she, she drinks some liquor or something, she got a pump. Before, before she, she do that, yeah, yeah, she gotta get that yeah, out of there before, yeah, so yeah. she get a whole bunch of it. Yeah. Then she go up like tonight is mine. Yeah, my, yeah, my wife, is, my wife is a big believer in breastfeeding. All, yes, all, all please do it. Breastfeed, really? Please do it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that action. I know how that goes down. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been, I've been out of the country, and she done forgot the breast pump. And you know, I've been with you, you for that. Latch I had to do what on. I got to do. Oh wait, you pumped it? Yeah, but. Did you go like bird style where you put it in your mouth and then spit it That's into it? That's exactly what I was doing. Get out of here. 100%. Because you know, like the breast would start to hurt. Yeah, it really hurt. You know hurts what I mean? It would start to hurt lot. if she don't pump. So she didn't have the pump. I'm like, got to go. I do what I got to do. Gotta Get do gotta... out of here. I'm talking about it rock up so nah, hard. Too. Real, she, for real. She be real. wake up in the middle of the night screaming, like, yeah, hey, go hurt. get him. See if he's hungry. Because word up. That's how it is. Absolutely. And I got to, you got to just, I don't mind. I'll drink it. Yeah. I'm getting better. I'm healthy. Don't Hold like on, a fucking baby we're, over here. We're the only creatures that don't drink our own milk, which is wild. We, we do drink our own. Yeah, we do. Oh, we don't we drink we animal milk. No, we I'm get older. Beginning the breast milk. We talking about it right now. now. About breast I know, but once we get older, <laughs> we stop. Doing, no, once That's we get crazy. older, we stop doing that. And we go to cows. So, so yeah. I go to that. Cows ain't drinking each other's milk when they older. You know. Charlemagne, what planet are you from? So, what did I say? Say some brilliant shit in between some absolutely idiotic uh, shit, son. Duh. I know. I'm on goddamn brand. I'm on brand. Right? I'm on brand. Huh. Right? And he wonders why people don't take his advice. I'm on brand. You yeah. see that? Brilliant idiots. God All is right. the most powerful force in my life. God will tell you to do the right thing. That's Next right. post is, I'm going to stab somebody with a T-Rex dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> All we got to do, as long as we're in between this. That's it. That that we're good. <laughs> just stay right here. Wear this. I'm saying, but okay. that is smart, though. Maybe we need to start getting more breast milk and just start feeding it to it. No, I'm with you, 100%. Especially with this COVID but shit going on. But being five years old, you could speak. Like, what do you say? Do you just say, like, yo, ma, like, what's up? Yeah, suck it or not. Oh, I'm hungry. Right? <laughs> yo, yo, my, like five yo, is big. My. I mean, my my shit is five is big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah, saying yeah. mine mine look too crazy to be over there sucking nipples right. It's got to be an age it's though, right? Big. Like, what's the age limit? Five right? years old, he's fucking you. Yeah, is there an age they tell you to get the child off the breast? Oh, right. It's got to be right. Yeah, before it start being like, you know, kind of wild. Yeah, it's got to be. I would think so. Let's yeah. look that up. I, I think quick. I think it should be the same age where you think you should stop having the kids see you naked. Ah, uh, wow. man! Mm, Do you ever stop the seeing naked? Yeah. What? Really? What are you yeah, talking about? I've seen my dad naked my whole life. That's dad. You don't see your mom naked. Ever. Oh, no, yeah. You I wouldn't that. see that's my why. mom naked. All right, that's, that's what I'm saying. But I've seen my dad naked. I can see his dad naked. Dad. How old? Fuck you doing? Well, six months, you can start introducing other food, but it's keep that stay on there. That voice you hear in the background is Taylor, by the way. I think we need Taylor Mike back. All right, just me. I think so too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was trying to avoid getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> she I looked at him and he was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, let's pay some bills. I got to pee. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I got to make sure that some of y'all keep your hair. So, your boy out here with the full head of hair. Why is that? Is it because God wanted me to have a full head of hair in my 30s? No. 
It's because Keeps wanted me to. And y'all could keep your hair as well because this is what is going to define you as aging well for a man. If a guy is bald, it doesn't matter how old he is. Welcome back, Sharla. Doesn't matter how old he is. He's going to look older, but if you got your hair into a ripe age of 60, you're going to be looking young as fuck, and you deserve to keep it. Keep I feel like I was being disrespected while I was- You were being disrespected. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair convenient, virtual con consultations with doctors, medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home, but once you have a full head of hair, you absolutely will want to. Low cost treatments start at just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions. Discreet packaging and proven results. Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. Prevention is key. Remember that. It could take four to six months to really see the results. So you want to act fast. You don't want to wait till your whole shit is gone and then try to keep it. Make sure that you act now so it doesn't go anywhere. That is the move. So if you're trying to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to, to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash idiots. And what else we got, Al? What we got, Al? What else we got, Al? Who else is sponsoring the show? Liquid IV. Ooh, Liquid IV. Take it away, show, man. Liquid, you IV, love liquid IV, man. I'm telling I love you, them too. I love this company. It's a great company. Great idea. Just increase your hydration. Simple as that. Increase your hydration. Instead of drinking one, uh, sorry, three cups of water. Drink one cup of water if you got the Liquid IV in it. Make sure that you're healthy. People, you talk to any doctor, they're gonna say sleep and hydration is gonna make you feel good going to make you have an amazing day. If you're dehydrated, you're going to be completely fucked. Okay. Um, I'm telling you, man, this is, this is, this is the game changer right here, especially you're out drinking stuff like that. Get your hydration up. You know, what's making you hung over in the morning. You're completely dehydrated. Your body's depleted of the nutrients that it needs. Give it those nutrients. Okay. Liquid IV contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange and as much potassium as a banana. It's healthier than sugary sports drinks, no artificial flavors or preservatives, and less sugar than an apple. It's made with clean ingredients, non-GMO, vegan. Look at that shit right here. Vegan and free of gluten, dairy, and soy, okay? You know what makes it so effective? It has the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium, delivers water and nutrients into your fucking bloodstream the way they need to be delivered. It is the perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively than water alone. One stick of liquid IV, and here's the thing, you can take these out with you so easily. Ladies in your purse, fellas, just put it in your pocket. You take them out so you can start hydrating while you're out on a night. Okay, one stick of liquid IV and a 16 ounce of a uh, 16 ounce glass of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than just water alone. And that's what matters. And the company is donating 4 million servings in response to COVID-19. Products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. Liquid IV has donated over 11 million servings globally. So grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code IDIOTS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order. When you get better hydration today, use the promo code IDIOTS at liquidiv.com. All Here right, go, let's, let's get back to the show. Uh, let's pay some, um, not pay some bills, some church announcements. Let's do it. Schultz, what you got? Infamous store kicking off this weekend. Dallas, Houston, both are sold out, man. Thank you so much. Excited to be in these venues. We got some, some surprises, some tricks up our sleeve. These things are about to be fucking crazy. We'll be in Texas all week and uh, then coming out there to Tucson, LA. We added shows in San Francisco, DC, uh, Chicago, uh, we've added shows in um, Vegas, man. TheAndrewShows.com for the full list. Detroit, Milwaukee gets your tickets. We're coming there soon. And um, yeah, I'm telling you, the full list of cities, go get it. TheAndrewShows.com is going to be fucking wild. I'm very excited, man. Now, Wax, you see you got the Who's Wax gummies? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I got everybody the Wax out here is going to yeah, be a, a marijuana tycoon, man. It's one word on the it, on the man. front of this gummy that's that's blowing me, though. So he literally said just the same said the same shit. Thing. Can't do that, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker out here slanging Delta. The Delta. Nah, but listen, Delta, <laughs> Delta is <laughs> not <laughs> good. Delta H right now is in Jersey and a couple other states that right now they are um, legal. So I'm able to put these right here into his store. So when y'all see the Who's Wax, make sure y'all go Support get them. Support the course. Who's Wax, man. Go yes. fuck with Wax. Of course, you know I'm in L.A. You got the flower too as well. I got the new wax lotto, the new OG wax. Yeah, make sure y'all go get that. It's gonna be my new bag. You got the pens, out. right? You got the Wuhan weed pens. <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> 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 I 
Tell us you. The Wuhan. <laughs> you know, you know, got the Wuhan we no, <laughs> Delta no. Uzwag. But that gummy. Wuhan probably hitting, bro. Yeah, that should sound like it's a, a sativa. A I can't sativa. <laughs> yeah, that would be wild, bro. Uh, no. That would be wild. That would be crazy. Bro. And oh, also, that, and also get the go to online and um, who's wax paintball. I want y'all to go ahead and get y'all teens ready. I got the airsoft too, so let's make this happen. Let's have fun. So this is my guy, uh, Al Harrington, too, man. This is the Viola Iverson brand. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Go so support black today. weed businesses, man. Support yeah, who's man. wax. Support Viola. You know what I mean? And um, make sure you go out and grab this beauty, Anita Kopak, Shallow Water. Yeah, yeah. Man. This is a great read. Um, right. I love the I love the reaction that it's having from people, but I I knew when I first read this that young girls were going to like really love it. Like my daughter, who's thirteen, she's the she's the litmus test for me, and she she loves fiction. Mm. Like she loves fiction. I let her read the Four Agreements, and she, she thought it was cool, but she likes really likes fiction. So she's like, yeah, this book is like really really really. She great, probably man. read more books than I did. I'm sure my thirteen year old has read more books than you have. You know what I mean? But Shallow Water is a really good book just because it shows you the power that you possess that you may not even know that you have. And I think that's a great message for young black girls everywhere. So make sure you go grab Shallow Waters by Anita Kopax and make sure you check out uh, the Black Effect Podcast Network. You can go to blackeffect.com and check out all the podcasts that we got going on there. Salute to the Trap Nerds Podcast, man. Oh, yes. I mean, very proud of what they're building. They had a great episode with my man, Kevin Griel. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing Kevin's last name right, but Kevin is a great comic book writer. He created a character for Marvel uh, called Blue Marvel some years ago. And Blue Marvel is like the only black superhero with God level powers. And, you know, he's just a, a great comic creator, period. They had a great conversation with him. And salute to the Ghetto Boys, man. Gotta salute Scarface and Willie D because Ghetto Boys Reloaded Podcast is doing, doing fantastic you know, in, in the podcast game. So salute to everybody on the Black Effect. And I got to salute Dolly Bishop. Shout out to Dolly. Yeah, Dolly is... is, is Thank is, you for coming to the show, Dolly. Yeah, Dolly came to Andrew Show in Charlotte this weekend. Oh, bro. You know, that's family right there. That's that's our, that's our fearless leader. She's the president of the Black Effect Podcast Network. Um, Inside Radio put out their top 10 most powerful people in podcasting. Top 10 most powerful people in all of podcasting. And uh, Dolly was number nine. Hey. And that's big because the Black Effect, we're not even a year in September. <clears throat> I think October. September, October will be a year. I think we announced that we were launching in September. We put out our Still. first show late September, early October, which was cut to it by Steve Smith. And um, yeah, for her to be number nine, most powerful person in podcasting, it's not even a year yet. That's salute dope. to her. And salute to my guy, Connell. Um, Connell Byrne. Connell is uh, the number one most powerful person and podcasting. And he, you know, he runs the whole audio podcasting division at iHeart. So, yeah, man. Who put out this list? iHeart? Nah, Inside Radio. Because <laughs> everybody's on it. Like, you know, you got Courtney Hope from Spotify on it. You got Oh, um, these are like the executives. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, well, this, you know, clearly it's, Rogan's probably the most powerful person in podcasting. Um, the... Sure. <laughs> I mean, talent wise. <laughs> but he signed to Spotify. You know ah, what I mean? So, I you know, you got to... Courtney, I think... I forgot what number I, Courtney yeah, yeah, was yeah. on the list. You that know makes I mean? sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Rogan is the man. Like, you can't... You're not going to front on Rogan at all, but you got to salute the executives that are making these moves 100%. to partner with these individuals. 100%. You know it I mean? was a massive yeah. move. Absolutely. Massive. So, so, somebody like Courtney is on that list because he was smart enough to go grab somebody like Joe Rogan and make that deal happen. I got you. These you know are I mean? These are like... A, these are execs. Oh, yeah. Because I think one of the beautiful things about podcasting is that the podcasters ourselves, we have power. Oh, 100%. You know what I mean? Like, we get to decide where we want to go, what 100%. we want to do, what we want to talk about. And, and, and but by the way, that's what makes executives great executives, right? Because when you're, regardless of what industry you're in, when you can sign great talent, that's how you win these executive of the year awards. 100%. You know what I mean? 100%. It's dope, though. Inside Radio. I mean, if you want to know, you know, who the, who's who in podcasting, you should go check that article out, man. Inside Radio, the most powerful people in podcasting, 2021. Conno Byrne, number one. Jen Sargent at Wondery, number two. Ben Cave at Apple, number three. Yeah, that's a lot. Malcolm Gladwell and, and Jason Weisberg is on the list, number five. Pushkin Industries. Courtney Holt, number six. Yeah, everybody doing their thing. Dolly, number nine. Hey, man, I just respect it. I just like being in the space. You know what I mean? Blessings. That's it. God bless. Now, what else we got up here? What else do we got up here? I wanted to do a lot of Asking Idiots this week, man, since we never, like, do a lot of Asking Idiots. 
Mm. Oh, we've been slacking on him. Ooh, we got him from Reddit. Oh yeah, Taylor's on her grind this week. Can These are from it? Reddit. This is a Reddit thread. Let's go. Wow. Listen, we're gonna do y'all Reddit. We have not done this. We're gonna spend some time doing asking the It's good that Schultz has a bunch of shows. Okay, <laughs> and we're doing this on a Monday. We're gonna we're gonna we we and for the next couple of weeks, we're probably gonna. Do a lot of asking to this. Let's let's give them some really time, some good time. I here. think it's a great idea. Let's give them some time. All right, who we got? Okay, this is exp underscore student ID wants to know: Will you guys do live tours together again in the future? I'm sure. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think we should. Yeah, I think we should. It'll be nuts though. Yeah, it'll be crazy. Oh, it'll be nuts, bro. It, it will be a little bit crazy. Nah, it'll be nuts. Yeah, we, I would. I would really if we when we do it, I would want to do something like really testing where the brilliant idiot empire is. Ooh, so foreign? Not foreign. I mean, we've been we've done London before. You yeah, know what uh -huh. I mean, and they, they've always asked us to come back to London. But I'm talking about like I would want to do like a venue, venue. Like, yeah. Let's see if you know. Yeah. The brilliant idiot listeners really fuck with. Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I like really. that. Let's like see if that. we can fill up like an arena. That'd be kind of fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I would want to do. What what about what about like a yearly event? Like it's fun to do one offs, but like what if we chose and it was like Idiots Day? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we had a thing that was like comedy, it was podcasting, yeah. it was music. Who's like wax? it was yeah. a night. It was who's wax. It had weed. Oh, it was yeah. It was, but it was like a night. So like we got out there. We talked our shit. We had some friends that yeah. do stand up. We had some friends that you know do music. That could be like a big hookout or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it could be cool, man. Idiots Jeez. Day could be cool. That's fine. That's I'm with fine. it. Yeah, I'm like, with it. So dope. anyway, let's look into that. There's something cool right there. Let's do. Um. Okay. Which NBA trio can Wax, Charlotte, and Andrew beat in three on three? Nobody. Yeah. No. Bugging. Yeah. No, 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 stop. Come on. We're not going to. We're not going to. But, but what it. you mean? Right now or ever in time? We ever. Three people. There's not There's not a trio, a trio of NBA players that we could beat in the game. Nah. Stop. Not going to happen. Come on. Why you, Why would you even play that? I, I know you. Okay. We right, Charlotte. You can't dribble. Okay. Why what? does this guy? Why do you need? What? Who could you beat in the league? I don't know. You don't know. Where, you can't even beat me in a planking contest. <laughs> Yeah. You got up and lied. No, <laughs> no, no. What we happened? Got no Al? Video. Al, what happened? I got, video. Video. We got video. I got video. Of you. All right, what happened? Al? Nah. Who wax you up? Thank you. Are you on drugs? Because you changed it. You, you, you changed it. It's plank. Can and then you, you did a side plank out of nowhere to give you to what give you yourself a rest. Yeah. Can y'all side plank at all? Then you told so Andrew. you telling me right now you can side plank for two minutes? No, but you got to say Nobody that. Nobody can. Say that you got to say that. You nah, gave nah, yourself nah, a rest. Nah, you you couldn't nah. do it. Everybody I held it here. That's right. I held how to work out. Everybody know what planks is all about. Side planks is just as well, and it it do your whole stomach. What are you talking about? What does side even mean? That's the side of your, no, side of your stomach. No, side you, of need your stomach. Exactly. you need a that's break. That's a break? Are you, you serious? A break. You put all muscles. your weight on the it's one side muscles. of your arm. It's different muscles. You need Why'd you break? tell Andrew to lay in front of you and do the same thing? Why'd I say that? You told him to do the side plank right in front of you while you side plank. Why'd you do that? When? We was, I was over there. He was here, right here. No, I saw it. Where's the video? <laughs> what? You, so what you he did the side plank and he was like, yo, Andrew, side plank right in front of me. Nah, you know, nobody. Yeah. Why would you, was, you don't remember this? <laughs> you was like this. Nah. Wax was like this, and you was like this. I don't remember that. that. You don't remember. I don't remember that. That. Yo, I cannot believe. Then y'all started really doing start a place with you. So you could show me when you doing like this. When you do on the side, it actually put more force cap because all of cap. I'm just all right, we're gonna do it. After. You have to say that. Beforehand. No, come on. You that's that's between that. me and him. How Son, you gonna add more rules? You couldn't do it as long as I, I did for seven minutes straight. You couldn't do it for seven minutes straight. That means I win. Who needs touch first? You. Word is born. I got it on video. No, no, not your name. And knees, I did, but you broke after. the form. You broke the form. That's not true. All right. I lost that. You did lose. Thank Bullshit. you. Bullshit. Whenever okay. you want to do it again. I've, I've yet really to lose an athletic guy. endeavor yes. here at the Brilliant Idiot. <laughs> it's okay. It's, yeah, okay. it's okay. You're allowed right. to take L's, bro. By the way, though, Texas man, Peter, you know what I, I don't like about uh, questions like this? We really underestimate the skill of these people that have made it to the highest level of, you know, their field. Like, I don't give a fuck. The 12th person on the NBA bench will wash the average person who don't play no, basketball sure, on sure. the regular, bro. 
So it's like, no, there is no, what three on three could we beat? Yeah, this is a great question. What? Uh, Charlemagne, do you feel like you invalidate Wax's feelings? No, I try to make Wax, un <laughs> no, that's from 415 TJ. What I try to mean? Though? I try to make Wax understand he has feelings. Uh-huh. Wax has been a sociopath for a long time. What that mean? Bro. That's like what somebody who kill people. Roll down. Huh? Roll down. What that mean? What sociopath? Yeah. Yeah, that means people that don't have no feelings. You didn't even I know women's feelings. names that you had sex with. Oh my gosh, bro, that's that long ago. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that wasn't what last was six, five, two years. I, I, but still, they was not supposed. To, they didn't want to. They didn't want me to know their name. Yes, they did. No, they did not. They absolutely. You just never even took the time to know their name. I names. know you. You. You want somebody? Psst, psst, come here. You want me to, you want me to know her fucking name? Pissed that's what she that's here. what she fucking do. That's, that's how girls used to get me. Just come here, come here. They, everybody wanted to hide with me. Come nobody come wanted here. me to know. Candy. Candy. <laughs> like, what nobody fuck? ever wanted nobody to know that they they dealt with me because it was like Wax shows himself that he's a dog and he's out here getting a bunch of pussy. If you give Wax some pussy, you the exact same way. So no, nobody wanted that. So they, everybody snuck in hot head with me. I knew Wax was a wild boy when a young lady. Logic's dead. It was easy for me. A young lady was pregnant and she was like, I'm not even telling him because he's not even going. Charlotte, this is so, yo, bro. <laughs> do we got nothing on Monday? <laughs> we can't do this shit on Monday. <laughs> 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 about. I was mad back then. Listen, I promise you. <laughs> I was mad back then, yo. Because everybody knew, all right, Wax is going to smash. He's going to keep it moving. He's not going to say nothing. Nobody else said nothing. Everybody shut the fuck up and keep it moving. That's all it was back in the day, but now it's like it's a whole lot different. Yeah, but even with that, even when you get girls pregnant, you don't stop. You keep going. Charlotte, what is the Monday you had about? Three girls pregnant Monday at one time in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this before. This is they did. I understand did. that, yeah. but you know, I wasn't a fiance and I'm like these type of things, you know. I'm with you, but listen, Carla was, knows who she with. I was. This, she act like she don't, but no, she, she does. Um, she just know that she just she sees something in you that you don't see in yourself, which is potential to be a great committed human being. I am. Yes, I'm you're really working. You're doing that. the work. Listen, He's doing I'm the doing work. two years and more, not doing anything at all with anybody else, and I'm very proud of myself. That's it's right. like for somebody to be like, what is the, what do they call people? A serial smasher. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> stop fucking Fruit Loops, bro. Who told you to keep fucking cinnamon toast crunch? Why is your dick in the box of Frosted Flakes? Why are you serious, man? Yo, I'm Why? Just saying, like, I was, I was for me to even take thirty days off. Y'all should have been like, oh shit, why no. I'm proud of you. No. You two and a half years, everybody still like, ah, yeah, me? Because I'm on six. Your number keeps going up. No, it's not. This is my <laughs> sixth year right here. I should keep going up faster than it October, goes up. Yes, October, of <laughs> yes, October of 2021 will nah, be bro. six years. Because I stopped October 2016. He's faithful in dog years, bro. <laughs> October of 2016 <laughs> was the last time I was unfaithful. This year will be six years. Listen, I know you've been unfaithful to my woman now. See what I'm saying? So that's give me some more points right there. That's nah, hot. I gotta see a little more. How much longer? I gotta see a little more. I can't give you the contract yet, bro. I gotta see a little water. more. That'll be five years. It's only five? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never forget this. <laughs> Listen, never forget. Oh, never forget the name of this show, all right? No, never, never, never forget, forget the name of this don't show. Don't get up. Brilliant don't get up. Brilliant idiot. I remember, I remember this motherfucker okay. was 39 for four years. <laughs> and then he drops a book and he's like, as a 43-year-old man, I'm like, word? Like, <laughs> when did you turn 40? You oh, turn no, I, I, I did it up big for my... 40th man. Say what? I did it up big for my 40th. I, no, on the, 40th. I know, but on the podcast, oh. you've been 39 for a yeah, long 40th, time. Yeah, 40th, I had the dinner. We had the dinner and shit. Mm -hmm. I had a remember. Good time on my 40th. All right, this is a good question. This is from New Breed. If New your breed. wife or fiance decide they wanted a big booty Latina or any body. No, man. Oh, man. BBL. Oh, BBL. What is that? <laughs> it's a fucking sandwich. It's a biscuit, bagel, lettuce. <laughs> 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 it's all carbs. What is it? Brazilian butt lift. Oh, shit. I'm thinking about the porn. Of yeah, BBL, yeah, BBL. Big Booty Latina. The BBW. You know, that's yeah. what that is? Big, big Booty BBW. White Girl. Oh, my God. What is BBW? A big big a Booty little, White a Girl. Car. Big Booty White Girl? What is BBW? Big, big, BBW. Big, big, big Beautiful girl. Woman. Oh, Big oh, Beautiful shit. Woman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are uh, any body altering surgery you supporting or talking them out of it? It's a good question. Um, It all depends. <laughs> yeah. What does it all depend on? 
Would um, I? Would my if, if I had my girl a five, wants a BBL? Am I gonna? Is, oh, is that just the butt? No butt. But if you like had five kids, a couple of kids, yeah, if your shit looks you crazy need, after yeah, the kids, come on, yeah. You know, yeah, I got your back, hundred percent. You, I need your confidence yeah. high for me. Yeah, Plus. exactly. I want you feeling good about yourself. But you're not just going to get your whole body done and all that type no, of no, stuff. No no no, 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 no. But yeah, if you don't feel good about yourself, you're not going to treat me right. And there's going to be so much more pressure on me to make you feel good about yourself. Yes, and it's hard. I got to lie. That's hard. Who's lying? Who's lying? Not me. Me neither. <laughs> so That's let's a go, good-ass let, point. Let's get I got to lie less. Right. If I buy you a booty, I got to lie less. I don't know about the booty. We have to get the booty up. But the no, titties, but maybe the booty look crazy, dog. You don't How know. How crazy the booty could get? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think the only thing the booty could do is get fatter, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The booty could be bad? <laughs> could the booty... Wait, what's the deal? Hold on. Tell us, Taylor. What's up with the booty, man? What could booties it's do? It's like with... It's, it could look soggy. If she didn't have an ass already... It's gonna look even a little more crazy. You think it's gonna sag down? I get, but what, how you can you fix that? Fat transfer. Yeah, and flip it up, butt lift. Take the oh, fat yeah, that you don't want, lift. throw it in the place that you do want it. I think this is fine. We have to embrace modern technology. It's like, do we have glasses when your eyes don't look good? Yeah, your eyes get a little worse as you get older. You got some glasses, right? No, your titties, if you your can't ass get a little see, worse. If you can't see, you wear glasses. Exactly, but. You didn't. You could see fine, and then as you got older, your shit fucked up a little bit. But you want to keep seeing like you used to. Okay, boom. Same thing with surgery. Your titties is a little blurry. Let's sharpen them up. <laughs> I'm yeah, wrong I mean, for this listen, or no? I mean, here's my thing. I'm nah, not. My, my only thing with any of this stuff is it's safe. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not respect. Yeah. If, if if my woman feels like she wants to do a little nip and tuck to do some maintenance, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. That's her, say. That's that's her choice. Tuck it. I need your confidence high, baby. Yeah, that's her yeah. choice. I just wanted to be safe. That's it. Like I'm yes, not, please I'm not tripping. Safe. I just wanted to be safe. That's it. Don't in those six months you recover and I gotta be at home and take care of you and all that type of stuff. As long as we ain't got to do all that type of stuff, I'm down, baby. Okay, here's Ooh, a good one. Here's a good a one. wild one. Here's a good one. Ready? Which uh, one you talking about? Danny B6491 or somebody else? No, no. Uh, Dump91. What? Uh, oh. if, you, <sighs> if you had to change races besides the one you currently are, what race would you change to? <sighs> I wouldn't. That's what would right I answer. change to? I really wouldn't. That's the right answer. If you had to. I changed, you know, I changed to uh, a billionaire. Come on. So white. <laughs> <laughs> it's black billionaires. The last billionaires that was actually put out were all black. So. Huh? Right. But you have to change well, the, the, newest, the new ones. The newest That's one. what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The newest one. But yeah. the races, if you had to change races. That's a race. A billionaire is a race, bro. Kind of is, but not. Yeah, come on. It's a race. So yeah, which I one would it be? I don't, I don't have, no, I don't want to be any other race. You never want to just try out being Asian or something like that? No. Just try One day, no. Nah. Not Asian. Try out being white. Just Never. try it out. Never. Nah. Never. I mean, when I got pulled over, I said, if I was white, this shit wouldn't happen. But if I could turn white for the, when I get pulled over by the cops, <laughs> that's and I get to turn power. back. That's your superpower. That's different. You walk into a store, white you man. can turn white. Yeah, white man. <laughs> you can turn into white that's man. It. Just white man. You get to be white. You just walk into it. Boom, white. Oh. I'm white when the cops pull me over. And as soon as they leave, I can turn right back black. That's it. I, I uh, you know. My meat ain't got to change in nothing. What? You got to have white I meat. That, I don't want that pink shit. Nah. No, nah, you got to have white meat. Dude. Fuck that. So no. you're saying you prefer chocolate meat? No. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that your preference? You prefer chocolate cox or what? Dude? Or me, yes. No, not on You know what I'm saying. Mine. <laughs> Mine. You want your cock it. to be chocolate. Yes. Don't All mind. right. Fair enough. True, true. Uh, go, Charlotte. What are you thinking? <laughs> Oh, this is a good one. Martyr. This is all Reddit, by the way. We on Reddit's thread. This is still Reddit, right? Uh, I think now we're on IG. Let's go back to Reddit, man. Okay. Let's, I like, I fuck with Reddit. I like, uh, that's all Reddit. Reddit had more than this. I saw a whole thread. Oh, no, no. Go back, go back, go back, go back. What's that one right there? Ooh, question. This is from Ariel Blaze. Question. If you woke up tomorrow in a parallel universe where you never became successful famous, and you are also making minimum wage. You think that you could take that circumstance and recreate your new life to be equally successful. Mm. Knowing everything um, that I know? I'd be a monster. But do years go back or I just got to be the same age? Well, here's the thing that's so interesting about that question. We didn't know what we knew when we first started. We just knew that we had some type of 
burning desire in us mm -hmm. to do more. Mm. You know what I mean? You can't be mediocre. I had to go more. I yeah. need more. Even that, right now, I'm thinking bigger than I thought that's earlier right. this morning. That's right. And we worked, I worked mad minimum wage jobs. I worked at Taco Bell for Christ's sake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I worked at a flower garden in Mount Corner, South Carolina. I worked at a, a warehouse called Industrial Acoustics. I, acoustics. I worked I at, at Demo Walmart. in the mall. I, I think, was at I think Walmart. It's saying, like, if you woke up tomorrow, mm -hmm. your age right now, and your minimum wage. And, and not I, we don't know nothing about this. Like, do you think you can get to where you're at right now? At my age right at now? At your age right now. Ah, oh, I don't know. I don't even know if I would want to do the same thing that. But when you get to, yeah, when, when, when you get to a certain 20, age, yeah. you're stuck in your way. So wherever it got you right where you at right there, it's probably what got you stuck in your way. I'll ways. be honest with you. I think I, I think I could, but I also have play the lottery. Hmm. I also have like a. I would have a unique advantage in that nobody would know who I was, but I had hours and hours of stand up material. It was far more advanced than the time that I'd be doing stand up. So I'd be a guy who just works on like, you know, at a truck stop or something like that, make a minimum wage. And the first time I went on stage, I'd have all these jokes that I was already doing in my past life mm -hmm. that nobody knew about. So I just get to walk out there being a 13, 14 year comic, right? Mm -hmm. Starting day one. So people are going to lose their mind. Do, do, we, do we have our same talents? Do we know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you, you know everything, everything you know, you take right into now. it. So I'm just going into open mics. Sure. Wow, motherfuckers. People are starting to go, oh shit, this, this guy's kind of nice with it. And I know all the game that I knew from before. 100%. Yeah, I mean, it's a great question because I mean, yeah. at 43, there's so much stuff that I cared about when I first came in the game at 18, 19 that I don't give a fuck about now. Right. You know what I mean? So my yeah. path would probably be totally Easy. different. I'll be doing, I'll be like, I really would probably just be out here trying to help people heal, to be totally honest with you. Yeah, but they ain't going to listen to your broke Probably ass. not. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I probably would no never. No influence or nothing. That's they what I'm saying. I would probably that. never get to this point. You need to fix yourself. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but, yeah, you're right. But you know what's so crazy? Like, That's bro, why everything bro, counts. Everything. Yeah. The only reason people may listen to me now when I talk about, when I talk about therapy or I talk Resume. about healing is because people are like, yeah, that motherfucker was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was a wild boy. You know wow, what I mean? Boy. So when you see the growth, when you see the evolution, yeah, you're more inclined to... Uh, so y'all need to incline listen. with me when I'm telling you that I'm being faithful. But it. we believe it. What else we got, uh, Alex? More Ask an Idiot. Uh, from the Brown Life, question for Andrew. Are you having Charlotte as one of your groomsmen at, in your wedding? I'm not having groomsmen. Yeah, I don't think... Really? A, yeah. You're just going to walk down by yourself? Uh, we're doing a very small ceremony. Ceremonies to me are like the most boring part of the wedding. So it's going to be like five minutes, the ceremony. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a party, bro. Like, no, I'm weddings gonna, are quick. That's like, the beauty of them. Just have it be a party. Like yeah. sometimes you go to these ceremonies and it's like, I understand Drawn there's these religious components and back in the day, like there was nothing to do. So you might as well have people there all day. But like, <laughs> bro, I, we're not going to be there three Two hours seconds, fucking man. doing this shit. Like Two let's seconds. eat, Absolutely. let's drink, let's do some That's drugs, let's have some fucking fun. Like, Everybody let and loose. All his money. You know what I mean? Like no kids around. Like everybody just have fun and enjoy. Yes. So yeah. So yeah, I'm not doing a groomsman thing. Cause also it's like, I'll be honest, like at this point in my life, I have very few friends that are not close <laughs> friends. I get it. Uh -huh. So yeah, you don't want to hurt real. nobody's feelings. It's not even hurt feelings. Yeah. It's like if I you there, you time, you know, if I'm you there, like you. I love you and I care about you. Yeah. So it's like it's back in the time. day when you have free time, you're spending all this time with your friends, right? When you're young. So like it really divides up who are your close close friends, and then you get in your thirties, and it's like you got family, you got girl, you have work, Her family. Yeah. The, I, the last time I got to go out to dinner with all my boys, maybe if I could go out to dinner with all my boys once every two months, I'd be lucky. Yeah. So it's like the people that are here are the people that I love, and all of them pretty much know each other. And uh, yeah, I just want y'all to enjoy yourselves and have fun, man. It's gonna be great. I, I want to do mine like like a David Buster's or something like something yeah. that's already like partied just out and already done. Yeah, like, yeah, we don't need you planning the wedding way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, goddamn, that's so. I'm just saying it's so easy. It's already planned. It's already like a party scene. Everybody want to have fun. Yeah, and only thing we got to do is show up. Yeah, exactly. They got food. That's it. Have Ooh. good food. Quick ceremony. Chuck E. Cheese. And then good music. That's very mm -hmm. important. You need good music. Good DJ. Okay. Uh, let me see. No. Oh, I like this. Fair call 7432. Okay. Uh, for, Charlotte, for Charlotte and Andrew, tell us the story about how you knew that you guys were destined to work with each other. Same question for Charlotte about wax. Ooh, go. You want to answer that one? 
Um, how did we know we were destined to work with each other? I just always thought Andrew was funny as fuck. And you know, me and Andrew and Duval used to have like just very interesting conversations, you know, via the phone or text message or anything else. And when we was just sitting around, you know, at at, at MTV two. So it's like it just made sense. Yeah, like we were having these phone calls early on. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I saw Guy Code and I thought you were really good in it. And uh I didn't know who you were. I didn't know about Breakfast Club. I didn't know about you as like a radio guy. I had no clue who you were. And I just watched the episode and I was like, oh, this guy's funny because they were trying to tell me about like the show. They wanted me on the show and they're like, hey, watch this. This will give a sense of what it is. And then, um, yeah, I just thought you were really funny. And uh, I was like, all right, boom. Let's see what else is going on. And uh, then we would just hang out and we would always have these like really funny conversations and everybody was being like really honest and it was cool to be, you know, just honest with one another and say the shit that we thought was maybe not politically correct, but we were comfortable <laughs> enough to back, say it. Back then, it wasn't even politically incorrect. It was yeah, just, just regular. Yeah. And we were just wild boys. But it was really cool. I don't know. Like, the three of us just kind of took a liking to one another. And uh, and then, yeah, I guess we would have these, like, long-spirited combos on the phone. And then I think when Chris Moreau asked you. He was like, uh, yo, you didn't want to do a podcast with? I was one of those people. And then it was pretty easy. Like It was only out of two people. Yeah. I didn't know if you, who had time to do it. Yeah. You so know those what I mean? people were just like, it was so quick, man. It was really, it was really easy. Like easy. I think within the first few episodes of Brilliant Idiots, it was like, oh yeah, this is something cool. This is something special. Wax. I mean, me and Wax, that's just, that's just family. Like, yeah. yeah. It's like Schultz is my family. Like, How do you know each other? I don't even understand that. Uh, my guy, my cousin, um, they call him Shaolin. He from Rawway. Mm -hmm. He, uh, he told me to go check, uh, this, my, our, our guy, Louie, who was from Rawway. I think I met you before that. Nah, it was then, cause he told me to go holler at Louie, cause Louie was new in town. And Louie was living with Wax and, uh, my guy, Dre. For that. Huh? When? John, you was managing, um, Ren and Stimpy. John and Mittens. John and Mittens. Yeah. And you used to call him. Them. Shut up, man. <laughs> Yo, this guy's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. nah, I Yo, met, nah, I met John and all them after that. No way. Because Louie wasn't living with me then. You know, I, when I first got there, I met you. It was all the same year. I know that. Yeah, much. for sure. Definitely the same year. I was like old. He was managing. One. Uh -huh. I was not managing them. Uh -huh. I'm lying, man. Hold on. Nah, I was <laughs> not managing yeah. this guy. Yeah. This guy is real. Man. He definitely when was managing. I say real Ren and Stimpy, like real Ren and Stimpy, I had to put Doodle in a shoe because this nigga lies so much, man. Like, <laughs> I couldn't take the lies. It was like too much. And then, then one time I had to put a dude in the shoe because he just kept lying. And one time he put me in a lie. And I was like, I had to say I was there. And I, he was fucking lying. I hated that shit. Yeah. I said, I'm never being around him again. I got to do something so he's not going to like me. And I don't want to beat him up. So I put dude on his shoe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why, crazy. Tell me about Charlotte as a manager. I was not managing <laughs> you them. Was managing These two them. guys you used to want to rap. <laughs> and you managed them. And so I did A&R for a record label called Never So Deep Records. Salute <laughs> so my funny. family, Never So Deep Records. My man DJ Bless, Dr. Robert Evans. So I had them in the studio trying to get them to rap. And what was their names? I don't even remember. Come on, man. Johnny Cam and Flip Mittens. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Camp and Flip Mittens. <laughs> that was their name, hey, man. Were they good? No. Ren and Stimpy, man. Oh, you were they, they good at rapping? They were good humans. <laughs> yeah. they, good. they still good. Johnny, yeah, I, still I ain't seen Mittens. In a, I haven't talked to Mittens in a long time. I Johnny Camp John was a good person. All good dude, the though. time, he's crazy. They he's both was good dudes. Wax was terrorizing that boy for no reason. No, man. come on. It wasn't for no reason. He kept lying. About what? Everything. You was his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> not his cousin. You he told me that. You was his cousin. And you manage him. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to Flip Man. That's, that's, <laughs> that wasn't the case. Okay, what else we got, man? Hold on, let's pay some bills real quick. I got this. All right, let's stop and pay some bills. Uh, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging, and publish publishing content. 
selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of. Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. And get to know your audience with their analytics tools. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on site, audience geography, and more. It's also simple to start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SES tools are paramount, okay? Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. What else What else we got, Alex? Uh, nothing on Reddit. Hmm? Let's ask, a, let's, let's do a couple more asking idiots and we get the fuck up out of here. Ooh, OG queen of USA, Charlotte, do you see the Breakfast Club continuing until you are old? Or do you guys want to walk away from the show while you are still on top? Andrew, do you plan on continuing your brand of comedy? Or will you change topics once you get older or branch into TV and movies and stop stand-up? Mm. Hmm. You go first. I mean, it depends what you call old. I'm old now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... Uh, I definitely not don't plan to be the sixty something year old radio personality mm. or the fifty something year old radio personality. Mm. You know what I mean. So this could be your last contract. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what God has planned. You know what I mean. Right. But you know, I just know that I'm executing on a lot of different things. I'm doing everything that I love to do. That's all. That you know, the Black Effect Podcast Network. You know, is creating a, a, a platform for for other voices to be heard. And you know, that's 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 something that I've always wanted to do. The Black Privilege. You know, book imprint, you know, Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Built. That's out there. Bestseller. Mm -hmm. Anita Kopak, Shallow Waters. You know, that's out there and it's doing very well. There's a lot more other titles to come. You know, me and Kevin Hart, we got SBH Productions at Audible where we're doing the same thing, you know, providing, you know, uh, black creatives with a voice. We got a lot of dope audio scripting content coming from that. You know, I got the talk show starting on Comedy Central, mm -hmm. you know, September 17th, The God's Honest Truth. So... I mean, it's just a lot going on. I'm just blessed. I'm, t I'm taking everything one day at a time. You That's know what I mean? Do I, do, I do have a five-year plan, mm. you know, but I have a five-year plan for myself, not necessarily for, you know, what I'm going to be doing. I know what I want to be doing mm. in the next five years. You want to share with us? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm mm. saying? Absolutely not. But uh, I think we're all doing pretty okay out here in these streets. Yeah. And why are you acting like you're not in TV and movies now? Um, I haven't been doing much TV or film. You just had a... Netflix and Show Saves America last year. Ah, uh, I thought they meant like acting. I think that's you what just was in the Whitney Cummins movie. Yeah, acting just sucks. You don't like it? No, it's boring. But I'll do a movie. I'll like write a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want to do. No, so I, we I wanna, definitely doing that. Yeah, so it's like I think that in the future will my comedy change? No, because your comedy is who you are. Will the topics change? Yeah, the things that I care about will change. Your and comedy will change. The comedy will. I don't, but I don't think the comedy changes. Like if you look at comics, mm -hmm. like, like you know, they get older. Like Chris Rock is older. Dave Chappelle's older. Like all the legends are older. And Same person. Because it's yeah. who you are. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. But the things you talk about are different. Are different because those are things you care more about. Yeah. Like going to perform at a college right now. Like I don't care about none of the shit y'all fucking nineteen year olds care about. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 if yeah. the check is right, I might. <laughs> but outside of that, it's not my like desired group. But as far as like TV and film, it would have to be something that I have my hands on, that I'm creating, that I'm writing, that I'm orchestrating. Like just going to be in a movie or TV. I, if I have time, I would do it. But like, there's a lot of offers that I get to be in TV and film now, and I just don't do it because I just don't have the time. I yeah. just can't leave for a month. They go, yeah, we're shooting this for a month. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, are you gonna, are you gonna pay me? To not tour for a month, to not do podcasts for yeah. a month, like to not do all the things that yeah. make me a good amount of money. Like you got to pay me for that and more for me to put a stop to all that. Because if you stop to do a movie, Alex still got to get paid. Mark still got to get paid. Everybody got to get Everybody paid. Everybody still got to get That's paid. You still got to, you still got a, a team to take care of. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Not to mention, like, I care more about the fans. Than the movie, like now, I want to feed the fan, like I want to give the people who supported us and do everything for us, like the opportunity to come, you know, and continue to see that content. Like there are people who have been waiting a year for us to go, two years, five years for us to go to their city to do a show. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I'm, with the right yeah. film role, 
helps your brand equity. I think it makes you yeah. a bigger yeah, like star. You doing, know what I mean? Doing film, even though it doesn't necessarily like translate into ticket sales. Like in my business, you is don't a, think so? It's like I know a lot of people who like you think that they would sell a lot of tickets, but can't. Yeah, 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 there's like really yeah, yeah. a handful of us that can like sell tickets. It's yeah. really what is it's very few. Yeah, and and but there's a lot of people with tons of exposure. You just don't need to leave your house when they come to your town. By the way, that's a great point that you just made. There's people that's probably booming at the box office, film wise, can't sell tickets, but can't sell a ticket. They can, and it's just, that goes back to the conversation I was having about YouTube and audio. I'm a YouTube guy. I sell it's tickets. It's two different spaces. Yes. Yeah, but I'm a YouTube like yeah, now. Nah, right. YouTube sells tickets. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like. The what what doesn't necessarily is being on TV or being in film or these types of things. Like so, it's like YouTube and podcast. So yeah, tickets. YouTube and podcast. Yeah, like yeah, for yeah. me, people know me more from stand up than they know me from anything else, right? Because my stand up numbers are bigger than That's my good. podcast. Yeah. Bigger. I'm I'm I'll be honest. I'm very rare in that most of the people in my generation are known as podcasters, mm -hmm. and then they find their stand up through podcasting, and that initially happened with me, and then my stand up fucking exploded. And a lot of people find my podcast or the podcast I do, mm -hmm. our podcast, mm -hmm. through the stand-up, right? It's most like most people know you from radio back in the day, and then they found our podcast. That's right. Because it was something else that you did, right? That's right. So it's like, so for me going out and doing these shows, I'm very fortunate that people are like, oh, I, I want to be part of that experience. I want to have it. What do, being on Netflix does is validates you. Like, it's way easier to talk to brands, or it's way easier to talk to, like, the mayor of Miami when you're like, oh, he just had a Netflix special. Then he posts clips on YouTube. So it's a nice little piece of thing no, that, like, no. for the average person's mind goes, ah, oh, he's a professional at this. Mm -hmm. But in terms of, like, changing and selling more tickets, nothing does that besides connection with the people. And, like, that's what I care about. When I see fucking Tyler, the creator, talking his shit on, on I forget whose show it was. Was it Flex's show or no, something? No, that was, uh, he was on Hot 97. I don't know who show it was. Though. But when I see him talking shit and, and like, I'm like, yes, I love what Still you're doing. Here. Shit on these motherfuckers. Because they think that because they're on like Billboard magazine or they're on Variety right. or these things That's that right. like, that what they're doing is more valid. That's At right. the end of the day, it's like, do people leave their house to see you perform? That's right. Because a lot of motherfuckers, they're not leaving the house. R, 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 can you sell product? Can you sell product? You know what I'm saying? Move that's units. right. That's that's oh, one. That's another shit. thing Tyler the Creator them do. They sell a lot of merchandise. Can you sell product? Can you make Can you make other people successful? You know what I mean? Can you make Can you get other Can you make people listen to somebody else? Can you make people purchase something? You know what I mean? <laughs> Just because it's your your voice, like that. There's a lot of levels to this shit. There's man. levels, but I do hear what you're saying, which is like if you're in a movie. All of a sudden, it validates you as like an entertainer, or if you're on TV, or if you're in these traditional platforms, like depending on the role. Yeah, yeah, depending, depending on, the role, on the role. But, but just being in it alone is like, oh, this person's a real celebrity now, you know. Mm -hmm. And I experienced that with Netflix, and I thought it was, and I thought it was great, especially for that branding wise. But the the difference between just being on something and like actually connecting with people, having people care about what you say, like people want to come out. And experience shit with you, that's nothing compares to that. Like, yeah, no, so. 100%. Like, there's no way I'd trade mm. doing podcasts or doing stand up or posting stand up clips for being in a movie once a year. Mm -hmm. There's no way in hell. No, I mean, because you make more money. Fuck it. Doing even everything else. Were, even if they were going to pay me the money, it's like, it's not going to translate to what I love, which is like filling up them fucking theaters with yeah. people, man. Like I said, if it's the right role, if it was, yes. a, if it was a vehicle starring Andrew Schultz. And it's a smash, you're out of here. You know what I mean? Like, you're, whatever you're doing now is multiplied yeah. times 100. It's just got to be the right role. You know what I mean? That's yeah. all. That's, yeah. A, that, that's, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Uh, <laughs> let's end on this one. This is from Glittering Neat 8063. She wants to know, will Wax eat his favorite cake? What's your favorite cake, Wax? Um, I like... Uh... Red Velvet? Yeah, I guess. With some apple pie. Okay. And would ice you, cream. Would you eat Tres leches? Would you eat the apple mm -hmm. pie, you know, from your favorite bakery if it's shaped like a dick? Why? Like say it's, it's shaped like a dick and the ice cream is at the tip of the dick. <laughs> vanilla ice cream. <laughs> yep. Would you eat it? Nothing but calories over here. Yeah, but sometimes you need some calories, bro. Hmm. And also, does the dick shape make it taste more delicious for some reason? Like I'm is sure there something it about a the shape way. of it? It's Have you ever eaten a banana? I ate a banana before, but I make sure I chop it up and throw it in the air one time or something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like this. Crap. <laughs> Squeeze it. 
Throw it in the air. <laughs> make sure. It's like this. Like this. I'm, I'm, I'm like, this is the banana. Just make sure. <laughs> you playing with the dick. <laughs> you just tossing it around. No, I'm popping it half. Okay, okay, okay. See, okay. everybody else go like this with it. I think yeah. it's like taking some like, clothes off. You yeah. like to circumcise it first. Yeah, and yeah, then that's what it. I don't want nobody to think nothing like that. Or even bumping they do. I'm just not doing it. I feel about for myself. I just crack in the half and squeeze it. Just, you know. Damn, don't threaten nobody with a good time out here, Wax. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hi, who wants this shit cracked? Okay. All right. All right. As always. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> you won't just eat a banana regular? <laughs> For what? Have you ever, like, instead of eating a banana, just, like, suck the skin off of it? <laughs> All right. Never thought about this. <laughs> I would love to see how you eat a banana. I don't, I don't want to see it, but I want to be like, I know I'm know. i weird the way I eat bananas. Like, cause right. what I'll do is I face it up and I just and I just go like that nonstop oh, until it's gone. Make that into a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Good job. Yo, you oh, need that who's man. wax, bro. Got your back. Listen, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you're absolutely right. No, I did that wrong. Uh, as always, if you listen to this podcast, if you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.